Well, it seems like growing vacuums have definitely made a huge leap and bounce over the previous models or the very early generations where they just randomly bounce around your home and it seems like they hit every possible object known to man. Now, we have robot vacuums with 260 degree scanning lasers that can definitely map out your floor plan. And for the small pets, the loved ones, the small obstacles, well, you have a 3D sensor. There's a 3D laser system that shoots out lasers and it can actively avoid obstacles. Plus, you know, that's not enough. We want robot vacuums to do everything. Well, we have these mobile security systems. So like on the S6 Max V, there's a front facing camera that you can see what the robot sees. So yes, you can check up on your dog Fluffy, make sure he doesn't get into trouble. Also, we want to be able to save time. So instead of just vacuuming, we can do both simultaneously. We can mop, we can vacuum, we can sweep, we can do everything. Now, lastly, you know, we don't want to have to clean up these robots after we're done. They can get quite dirty. So we have self-washing stations. Also, we don't want to empty out the dustbin. Yes, we got the self-emptying dustbin. Okay, so there's one more thing. Some of these robots do offer a clean detergent solution. So after they're done washing your floors, they have a nice shine and they smell nice. Yes, that's an option. But you know what? We're in the end of 2021, starting 2022. So we want more from these robot vacuums. What could possibly be more? Well, there's a particular model out there called the D-Bot X1 Omni from EcoVax. This particular model combines all of these features into one unit. And we're going to take a look at this brand new model. But before we do that, I want to give you guys a personal thanks. Huge shout out to you guys. You guys are the ones that make this channel possible and allows me to bring these cool world vacuums to life. And it should arrive here in December, hopefully before Christmas, so you guys can check out this brand new model with me. All right, so let's talk about this new model. So the Ecovax D-Bot Omni X1 is the newest model from Ecovax. Ecovax is no stranger to innovation. They've innovated the N9 Plus, with the self-washing. They also have like the TA, TA Plus with the self-emptying and the reactive AI system, which Roblox has. They have some cool features, which a lot of these will vacuum share. But what makes the X1 so special is it combines everything into one unit. Okay, so for stars, this guy does have the lot of navigation. Nothing new, also can go on carpet. It can uh, clean the carpets with its carpet boost sensor. That's something that's really, we've all seen. But what really, is the innovation here is the docking station. Take a look at this new docking station. So I'm using this guy for reference as he's sitting in this chair here. You can see it's almost as tall or as up to his knees. So it's a fairly large docking station, but this docking station can self-empty, it can self-wash. So if you look closely, you may notice in the middle of the docking station, there's a drawer that pulls out. There's where the self-emptying system is. It actually uses a bag system, disposable bags. That might be a down side to some. Some people like the canister style. Maybe in the future they'll add a canister, but for now Ecovac has been using these disposable bags in their previous models. Now let's take a look uh, inside the docking station. You may notice the self-emptying port also has the same thing as this guy, which is a removable mopping plate. What this allows you to do is you can actually clean out the docking station fairly easy. Also when the counter rotating pads start scraping on that plate, they actually remove the dirt and grime. Now this docking station takes it a step further. It actually adds AG Plus, which is kind of like an ionizing agent, which will help remove the particles and make sure that the water that's rinsing off is nice and clean and it helps pull the dirt off. It's some magic, some science, not exactly how sure how it works, but it's pretty cool. Okay, so let's look at the top here. That's where the self-washing is. It's very similar to like the Yeti, has the exact same style of dirty water tank, brush water tank. I believe they're around four. Uh, liters each so they're very large you can get several self-washing per uh, tank now one thing to note is in the middle there there's actually a little uh, holder which you can hold your cleaning tool you can also hold some spare uh, mopping pads so very very cool you could probably put some uh, side brushes in there too so I like the innovation of this new docking station I like the fact that you can cram everything possible they can cram the cleaning solution they can cram the self-emptying the self-washing all in one station okay so some other specifications of the X1 is it's 5,000 Pascals, so it's a fairly powerful robot, and I couldn't find exactly the battery life, but it's probably going to be close to three hours like most of these guys. Um, a lot of these guys have about 5,200 milliamp hour battery. Uh, this particular model is close to 6,400 milliamp hours, but their battery life should be sufficient. Also, a lot of these guys have a self recharge and resume, so what that means is they can go back to a dock station charge up and resume exactly where they left off. 
So you can see that X1 does very good up avoiding most of these obstacles. There's some random objects. Also, they said that they can avoid pedestals, power cables, shoe strings, and some other uh, known objects with that front-facing camera. But if the front-facing camera fails, of course you have the true detection sensor that this robot has both systems on board. Okay, so some other things I noticed is the top of the robot actually comes completely off, which is very unique. Most of these robots have like this little flap here and it stays on. And one thing to note is the dustbin does look a little bit smaller. This particular model I think has like close to 600 milliliter dustbin, but that one is close to probably 400 milliliters. So I don't know the exact size, but it just looks a little bit smaller than what I've reviewed in the past. Okay, so let's look underneath the robot. Here's a couple things I noticed. For stars, it has a dual counter rotating side brushes. One thing I really appreciate. Also, you notice that they're color code, so it makes it easy to know which is the left and right side, and they just snap in. Now, if we go down further, we notice the combination style extractor bar. It's a combination of silicone and rubber, and I felt like the style extractor bar does a pretty good job picking up pet hair and uh, dirt and debris from previous models I've tested. Okay, so below that, if the two counter rotating mopping pads which help uh, mop up the dirt and grime that the extractor bar left behind. Also, you may notice up to the top right there is the little uh, carbon avoidance sensor. So yes, this does have carbon avoidance sensor. So when it's mopping, it doesn't mop your carpets. And when you take the mopping pads off, it will actually boost up the suction and uh, give it a nice clean. Okay, so stay tuned. I will have the Omni X1 on this channel, hopefully before Christmas time. And again, Huge shout out to you guys. You guys made this possible. Thanks so much. You guys have a great rest of the day. Adios. See you later. And stick around. It's coming soon.